श्री कृष्ण रिमेन्स द एब्सल्यूट एंजॉय विषय ऑफ द लव ऑफ हिस्स डिवोटीज एंड दस इज एवर इंक्रीजिंगली इंडेटेड टू देम टू रीपे देम ही एडोप्ट द मूड ऑफ द डिवोटी हु इज द शेल्टर ऑफ लव आश्रय फॉर हिम हेंस ही अपियर्स इन द कंबाइंड फॉर्म ऑफ लवर Ashraya and beloved Vishaya as Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in this role his natural inclination is to serve and give and it also equips him with the one pointed devotion he so admired in his devotees hence he relinquishes Krishna's debt in two ways by repaying the love owed to his creditors and by tasting the mellows of love its tribulations along with its ecstasies experienced by devotees in krishna leela shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is shri krishna embodying the mood and complexion of shri radha who is the pinnacle of loving devotion the personification of mahabhava in jagannath puri he would visit lord jagannatha and his feelings exactly corresponded to those of the gopis when they saw krishna at kurukshetra after long separation krishna has come to kurukshetra with his brother and sister to visit and he invited all the inhabitants of rindavana to come and see him when shri chaitanya mahaprabhu danced before the car during the ratha yatra festival he always sang the following two lines I have gotten that lord of my life for whom I was burning in the fire of separation the paranath painu ye hala ki madan dahane juri very personality who stole away my heart during my youth is now again my master these are the same moonlit nights of the month of chaitra the same fragrance the same fragrance of malati flowers is there and the same sweet breezes are blowing from the kadamba forest in our intimate relationship i am also the same lover yet still my mind is not happy here i am eager to go back to that place on the bank of the reva under the vetasi tree that is my desire yah ko mara hara saivai varasta eva chaita kshapa sa te ko na mili na mana ki surabhya rodah This is the verse spoken by Shrimati Radharani. My dear friend, now I have met my very old and dear friend Krishna on this field of Kurukshetra. 
I am the same Radha Rani and now we are meeting together. It is very pleasant but still I would like to go back to the bank of the Yamuna beneath the trees of the forest there. I wish to hear the vibration of his sweet flute playing the fifth note within that forest Vrindavana. Srimati Ratharani thought of Kanhaya in the calm and quiet atmosphere of Vrindavana, dressed as a cowherd boy. But at Kurukshetra, he was in a royal dress and was accompanied by elephants, horses and crowds of men. Thus the atmosphere was not congenial for their meeting. Raja Vesha Hati Khoda Manusha Gahana Raja Vesha Hati Khoda Manusha Gahana Kahana Gopa Vesha With Krishna and thinking of the Vrindavana atmosphere, Radha Rani longed for Krishna to take her to Vrindavana again to fulfill her desire in that calm atmosphere. The gopi spoke thus, Dear Lord, whose navel is just like a lotus flower, whose lotus feet are the only shelter for those who have fallen into the deep well of material existence. Your feet are worshipped and meditated upon by great mystic yogis and highly learned philosophers. We wish that these lotus feet may also be awakened within our hearts. Although we are only ordinary persons engaged in household affairs. <laughs>
The gopis thought, Dear Lord, if your lotus feet again come to our home in Vrindavana, our desires will be fulfilled. Continued, Dear Krishna, the fragrance of the mellows of your pastimes is spread throughout the forests of the glorious land of Rindavana, which is surrounded by the sweetness of the district of Mathura. In the congenial atmosphere of that wonderful land, you may enjoy your pastimes with your flute dancing on your lips and surrounded by us, the gopis, whose hearts are always enchanted by unpredictable ecstatic emotions. In this way, when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saw Jagannatha, he saw that the Lord was with his sister Subhadra and was not holding a flute in his hand. Absorbed in the ecstasy of the gopis, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wished to see Lord Jagannatha in his original form as Krishna, the son of Nanda Maharaja, standing in Vrindavana and appearing very beautiful, his body curved in three places. His desire to see that form was always increasing. <laughs> As Srimati Radharani talked inconsistently with the bumblebee in the presence of Uddhava, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in his ecstasy, talked crazily and inconsistently day and night. Radhika Unmadaya. 